Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, which spiritually calls to dominate Egypt and the scriptures. But first and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the others at GMS and the Akim, pushing this word of truth and its sincerity. So, Lord, we're on this camp set find through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And the Wadi Yabashim Yoshai, he allowed us to come out here another week, uh, a day after the Day of Atonement, which was uh, yesterday. So, uh, hey, hey, we're, 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 we're a reset. We're, we're uh, you know, the, the Day of Atonement is for uh, an atonement for our sins. You know, so, hey, 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 you, you, you're, you're refreshed, you're renewed. You know, hey, so, so you, 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 you come back and you serve the Lord better. So we're out here again to to uh, another week to preach to our people to turn back to the Lord, repent, turn back to turn back from the ways of this world, and come back to the Lord and serve the Lord. You know, because hey, he, he's uh, he's gonna be with his people, his elect that that that, that are uh, trying to please him. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, This is uh, I, since you said turn back, you know. This Isaiah 60 and 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh by Shimei's side shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy coming. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see all they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then shall, thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Oh, I got that? Alright, bro. Go to Isaiah 60 and read it. Gentlemen. What's up, man? Go to Isaiah 60 and read it. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff in there. This is Isaiah 60 and 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord Yahweh is risen upon thee. Yeah, the light being this knowledge, this understanding that we have. Yahweh shine, right? He has risen upon us, all right, through the understanding, through the knowledge that we have. Okay, go ahead. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Right, as it tells you in the scriptures, you know, that there would be a veil um, covering these people, the covering cast you know, over the entire earth, which is, you know, um, for lack of a better word, the matrix, man. You know, Esau has created a, a society based off of lies and um, is trying to completely do away with the Lord and the Israelites, man. You know, but the light is shining upon Israel. The elect are waking up so that that light is growing stronger and it's gonna outshine this darkness, man. You know, because the Lord is going to come with the brightness of His coming, man. You know, get uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and 12. Uh, keep going. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and His glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah, the, the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee. You know, as it says in the scriptures, Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, because they can hear. Well, it tells you that uh, two thirds of the nation in Israel have been blinded. You know, their eyes, they, they have eyes that they can't see, ears that they can't hear, man. You know, even these cats that call themselves Israelites, you have uh, uh, two thirds within these people that call themselves Israelites, man. They can't seem to grasp uh, the actual truth, you know. Um, go in the second and I think 12. <clears throat> this is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12. That they all might be damned 
who believe not the truth, but at pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh Bashem Yahushad for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai hath from the beginning chosen you. I'll go to uh, start at verse 8. Not it says, And then shall the wicked then shall that wicked be revealed. Right, so when uh the world being covered in gross darkness, okay. Um, the people, they don't know who the wicked are, who the devil is. You know, you got Esau going around talking about that the devil is a guy, a red man with a pitchfork, you know, in hell. And you be, you don't believe in the Lord, you'll be damned for all of eternity. You know, and you're going to get, uh, uh, what is it, tortured by demons. You even have, what was it, one Israelite uh, group that was saying that when you go to hell, you get popped by a demon. Remember that? It was like GOCC or some some. One of them crazy guys that said that. Yeah, it was, I don't know what group, it was one of the groups. Yeah, it actually said that, man. But you go get popped by, if you get popped by a demon when you go to hell, man. So, you know what I mean? Like I said, there's loonies. There's loonies in this thing, man. You know, they don't, they're not in touch with reality. You know, uh, keep going. It says, even him, Who's coming is after the working of Satan. Right, it says, him, that wicked shall be revealed, who's coming is after the working of Satan. That's talking about the actual demon Satan, the, the angel, right? The, the left hand angel Satan. Yeah. You gonna get a precept? Yeah. Alright, This is Psalms chapter 58. And three, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Uh, the wicked are estranged from the womb. You know, which is uh, Esau, Edom, the devil. You know, they're 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 born to spread uh, lies. They're born to uh, you know, they're created uh, to spread lies and chaos, man. You know, just them being in power is, is pure chaos, man. It's out of order. You know? Go ahead, uh, Second Thessalonians. It says, with all power and signs and lying wonders. Yeah, powers and signs and lying wonders. He wants you to believe that he's God, you know, through the technology that he builds. That you how about to me outside gave this man. You know, uh, through his medicine, his drugs, his weapons, you know, um, all these different things are ways that Esau uh, has power. He uses guns to, uh, you know, strong arm nations, he uses lies to uh, trick people, deceit, and he uses drugs to destroy populations. Man. He uses music too. Oh, and witchcraft. And through the abundance of, of witchcrafts and whoredoms, you know. It says in the scriptures, he selleth nations, man. What's what, what's another one of uh, Esau's great uh, trades? There's human trafficking, man. Yeah, he's the father of that. Look what he did to uh, Jake. I'm going to get a scripture real quick. This is Jeremiah. All right. Chapter 50. Verse 33. Thus saith Yahweh by Shemiah Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Yeah, man, well, the transatlantic slave trade, man, when you read into those real history books, you know, people that did real research, you find out the Jakes were being transported from Europe as well. There was, uh, there was a book that was uh, talking about how slave ships would go to Africa. They would already be loaded with slaves that they had got from uh, Spain, from Portugal, from uh, uh, Italy. 
history because Jake was ruling. The, uh, the 1400s is when Esau started coming back into power, man. You know, but through the Dark Ages, uh, Jake was ruling in that time. And then when he, and then the 1600s, that's when Esau was really uh, taking complete control of everything. Uh, you know, and you had uh, uh, Irish, Scots, Italians, you know, uh, Spanish, um, Greeks, Romans, you know, all these, all these, all these different factions were actually Jakes at that time. And they were being put into slavery by the, uh, uh, the Edomites that were coming down from the Caucasus Mountains, man. You have to know that, that history. You know, and they were going into yeah, Africa so because Israel fled uh, into Africa during 70 AD. So you had a lot of Israelites that uh, were in Africa as well, uh, west of Africa. But they are also in Europe, man. You know, so it's important to understand um, that history. You know? <clears throat> Go ahead. Yeah. Back in uh, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 10. And with all deceivableness of, unto, of unrighteousness in them that perish. Right, deceivableness. What, what, do, they, what do they say? That the Bible is outdated? They change? Oh. Um, they changed the, uh, the laws in the Bible. Esau actually tried to change the laws in the Bible, saying that you the, the dietary laws done away. Well, this, this nigga, he, he's coming out right now talking about how uh, that they should re, re, they're, they're thinking about re, re, rewriting the Ten Commandments. Well, I just read an article that they're saying that uh, the parts in the Bible that condemn homosexuality are mistranslations. Man. Hey, when you look at different translations, it says that when the when the people of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah seen the angels, they wanted to know them. It meant they wanted to have sex with them. You see? So, man, the scriptures are heavy, heavy against homosexuality. As a matter of fact, the scripture says that homosexuality is a sin punishable by death, worthy of death. You know, it's abomination. All right. Yeah, this is real quick. This is Revelation at 18. All right, I'm gonna start at 17. It says, "In the spirit and the bride say, come, and let him that heareth say, come." And let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the thing, things which are written in this book. You know, Esau took this book upon himself and basically rewrote it, man. You know, put all types of uh, uh, mistranslations on it, man, saying everybody can make it, the Israelite, there's no more Israelites, basically. You know, um, the Lord came to save all people. The dietary law is done away with. Now he's trying to say homosexuality is a mistranslation. You know, condemning homosexuality, that's a mistranslation. So, you know, the, uh, the devil is uh, doing everything he can to do away with this book, man. To do away with, uh, with the spirit of this book. Which the spirit of this book is all about uh, order. You know, and Esau is all about chaos. When you read in uh, what's that, Wisdom of Solomon, I believe the second chapter, it tells you about Esau, the wicked, how it says, let us, let us delight in every pleasure. Let us do, you know, everything because you know, you, you you only live once, basically. And who's saying is that? Who who pushes that? You know, Esau, man, that Yolo bullshit. You know, through his witchcraft, which is another lie. This is Psalm 82 and one. The Most High standeth in the congregation of the of the mighty. He judges among gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? Salah. 
defend the poor and the fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All the foundations of the earth are out of course because of the wicked are ruling the world. You know, he's posing the question. He's saying, Lord, how long are you going to let these devils fucking run amok out here, man? You know, it seems like Esau is just getting away with murder, bro. You know, and, and to the simple, that's what it thats what it looks like. But when you understand uh, the scriptures, you understand Yahweh by Shemiyahweh Shai, you know, the Lord does everything in order. You know, everything has to, this order of operation, man. This has to happen first, you know, before this could happen, you know. And that's what, that's what's going on. Because uh, Esau is letting, or Salaki, Yahweh by is letting Esau get, you know, to the point where he feels like he's, he's going to win. He's going to let it get to its fullness, its fatness, and then he's going to reap it, you know. Just like when you when you plant things in a garden, you let it get to its ripeness, to its fullness, and then you pick you pick the fruits, you know. Yep. This this is a uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 17. And I saw an angel uh, an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fells that fly in the midst of heaven. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Yahweh Shai, that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. And then that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fellows were filled with their flesh. Right. So he was saying, "Come, you know, come, you know, you beast." To the, to the feast, because there's going to be a great slaughter in the Valley of Judgment, the Valley of Decision, and how it's fought, you know? That's uh, where World War III is going to take place. I was watching a movie, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's about oh, Hacksaw Ridge. In that movie, um, at the end of the battle, you know, when, the, when nightfall came, um, all the dead bodies were getting eaten up by rats and birds, man. You know, the, the, they were all uh, being feasted, feasted upon by these uh, scavenger creatures, man. You know, so that's how that's how it's gonna be. There's gonna be so much dead, and the, the you you know the uh, the war the war going on, all the dead bodies, it's gonna stink, man. And you gonna have all these birds flying overhead, vultures and crows and shit, man, because they're gonna be eating. You know, they're gonna be eating all these dead people, man. And the wounded. Imagine being wounded in battle. Like you got a, you got your leg is missing, you got your guts hanging out, and then a fucking bunch of birds come and just start eating you alive, bro. That's that shit's gonna happen, man. Well, look, even the chariots, the chariots, you know, are gonna are gonna be as birds yep. over this place that are gonna be killing captains and eating the flesh of horses with those with those uh, lasers, man. This, this Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force, and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. 
chance his teeth of wild beasts, so all these animals, these birds, hey, hey, all these animals in the zoo, man. Hey, hey all these animals are waiting to, uh, to get back and eat, man, to get, to get their judgment back, too. Hey, because uh, th th these animals are, are, are turning on these people. You know, you see, you see uh, an uh, dogs attacking people, packs of dogs. So hey, that's all the Lord. The Lord is going to control all these animals to bring uh, 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 vengeance, to the spirits of vengeance. You know, the hail, the storms, well, those are all spirits, and, and the Lord controls them. Yeah, man, because the spirit of death is going to be in the air, man. Because while World War III is going on, you know, like the brother just read, there's going to be storms, tempests, earthquakes, floods, volcano eruptions. You know, the people uh, of the world are going to be rising up against their governments. You know, the economy is going to be collapsed. People are going to be starving, killing each other. So these wild animals are going to be out here eating people, man. Because it's going to be death everywhere. You know? Yeah, I hope I sit down and start to protect the election. So it's all good, you know? You know, uh, all, all, this, all this stuff that's going to happen is to destroy Esau and these nations. You know, and two-thirds of the nation of Israel that don't want to deal with the program. No, it's not open. No, this is uh, Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, so what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leave his hand upon the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness? You know, that's why we talk about repentance. You know, give uh, uh, repent to your house by some yellow shot, man. Give with the program, bro, because the Lord, hey, the Lord kills and makes alive. All right, the that's Lord right, kills that's people. Right. It's not, it's not Satan. It's not the uh, uh, the, the demon Satan. Or like he's just some renegade out here doing whatever he wants without the Lord's permission. Nah, no, man. How about some yellow shot? Kills people, man. Who keeps people alive? Who makes people sick? You know, gives you a deadly ass ailment to where you're bleeding, bleeding out your eyeballs and shit, you know? Go ahead. This uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Yeah, he said there's no power with me. There ain't no Satan running around doing whatever he wants to do. There's no other power out here making moves. It's just the Lord, man. He makes all the decisions. You know, if he feels like somebody's crossed the line, you get swept, man. Plain and simple. You know, go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right, right. No, you can't be delivered. You can't escape the judgment of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. The wages of sin is death. It catches up with you no matter what, man. And then you get reincarnated. So, so you know, let's say you you were like a wicked bastard in your past life and you lived an old age. You're gonna pay for it in the next fucking life, man. All right, you might you might go through complete hell in your next life, man. That's good. Yep. This is Proverbs 16 and 4. Yahweh by Shimei Shai had made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yep, even the wicked for the day of evil. Man. That's why Esau given all this power, man. These guns, nuclear missiles, you know, Tomahawk cruise missiles, chemical wars, biological. This guy, this guy has uh, the power to take uh, microbiology and splice it and create uh, newer, deadlier viruses and, 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 and shit, man. It just showed, I was looking on uh, what happened this week on the, on the unicorn. The brother posted a video where Esau has this device and he puts a piece of uh, human flesh and so it starts adding parts and it starts coming to life. Damn, Frankenstein, bro. Yeah. See? Literally. See? This? Hey, but this, all this, all this stuff was given to him so that he would be more of a bad man. Right? He was created, he was created to be the devil. So everything that he gets his hands on, all right, he, he thinks of a way uh, uh, to do wickedness with it, man. So how can I, how, what, 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 what evil can I, it says he searches deep, man. You know, it's, what, what's that? Where's that scripture where he says he searches out? He 
searches out ways. This guy goes looking for new ways to be fucking evil, man. You know? And so he can't he can't rest until he's done some type of wickedness, man. There's Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the rain is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage for every unclean and hateful bird. Right. Well, I mean, you look, Babylon is America. You look around, uh, uh, Americans think they're better than everybody. You know, they think they they they're, they're, they can do no wrong. Like they're the pinnacle of society on earth. You know, nobody can touch us. You know, they they, they have the moral high ground. You know, that's why you got Esau, uh, uh, America going around spreading this. Uh, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta defend women's rights. You need feminism. You need LGBT. You know, homosexual. You can't be treating homosexuals this way. You can't be treating women this way. Because our way is the right way and nobody else is right with us. That's how America thinks, man. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Yeah, man, because you have all, like, you go anywhere in the world, and you'll see cities like this, you'll see marketplaces like this, you'll see McDonald's, Burger King. Even in fucking Iran, bro, you go to Iran, they're gonna have that shit. They have all that shit too, man. They have these different uh, corporations running business in their in, in their shit. You know, they'll deal with Esau to a certain extent, you know? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Right, come out of her, my people, meaning the Lord is actually gonna lift us up out of this place. The Lord is actually going to come with UFOs and, and tractor beam us up into the sky, all right, while everybody's getting burned by nuclear missiles. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has remembered her iniquity. Right, man, her sins have reached. The Lord sees everything that's going on, man. He sees all the wickedness that Esau is doing, you know, pushing all this pedophile shit, homosexual shit, you know. The Lord sees all this stuff, man. You know, uh, all this tranny stuff, man. You know, men, uh, uh, well, there's there's no there's no family structure anymore. You got these uh, young men and women just going around, you know, and they, they be calling it, they be, they, they'll literally go, I see these interviews on YouTube with this man, man will go around and asking women, what's your body count? What's your body count? Like it's, like it's some kind of fucking joke, man. What's your body count? And then you'll have these bitches talking about 200, 100, you know, 1,000, who fucking knows, man? Well, that body, if you don't know what body count means, that means how many people that that woman slept with. And when you look it up, you go into it, uh, a man's DNA gets trapped in a woman forever. So that's 200 strands of DNA. Do you know? 100, you know, 30, 50, 1,000, however many, you know, these psycho women fucking. And, and then they, they go nuts. Because they're, they're, a woman is supposed to have a simple fucking life. Be with one man and, and stay home. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her work. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Right, what has she done to us? She ruined our lives, man. All right, Esau, Edom, this devil, this place, all right, has ruined our lives in ways that we don't even understand, we can't even fathom, man. All right, because trauma, um, trauma stays with you from, from birth, man. You know, even the way that you're born, you didn't have a chance. You got the doctor fucking pulling your head, pulling on your damn head. I read an article where a doctor actually ripped the baby's fucking head off, giving birth to it. Right, because Esau would, uh, would rather, you know, torture a baby than let it come out naturally, the way that it's fucking supposed to. Yeah, yeah, and then going back into Psalm 82, where it says, uh, "All the foundations of the earth are of course." So the Lord allowed Esau to do all this wickedness, but where it says, "For her sins that reach unto heaven." That's why when 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 the when uh, when Babylon gets judged, hey, the judgment's gonna be vicious. You know, nuclear fire, the 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 the, uh, the angels, the chariots gonna come through, smoking shit. 
Hey, because hey, the, the Lord allowed His wickedness to go to reach into the heavens, to, to uh, so so ultimate judgment could come on this place. You know, hey, so so all, all uh, I'll, re I'll read uh, Psalm 82 again. Psalm 82 and one, the Most High standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? Salah, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy, deliver the poor and the needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. So the Lord allowed Esau to be this wicked. So, so ultimate judgment is come on Babylon. It could be nuked off the planet. Hey, hey, and he, and and for him could to, could deliver this his people in in a, in a glorious fashion. It's gonna be it's gonna exceed the the the, uh, the salvation of, of Egypt. So it's gonna be hey, hey it's gonna be. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 43 and five. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Man, that, you know, that's why we're pushing this word, man, to the ends of the world, and to the, you know, through the, through the internet. You know, the, hey, the Lord created the internet, bro. So, for the sole purpose of spreading the truth. That's it. All this other madness and wickedness that goes on, on on the internet, that's not what it was intended for. That's all you people uh, doing all this madness and evil. Uh, because everything was created for good, see? But all the wicked have turned everything that is good and, and, and flipped it upside down. You know, Esau, Edom. Um, you know, turned everything that is good and flipped it upside down, man. Uh, uh, uh. I found a way to make a profit on it. You know, this devil sells water, man. This devil sells water. He taxes you for breathing air, man. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Read that again. It says, I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Go into a Baruch. You know, Baruch goes into that. That's why we're pushing this word, because you hear, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then that spirit comes upon you. You repent, you know? We're waiting for Israel to repent, bro. Are you Israelites, all right. So, okay. so my, name, my name is Moses, yeah. Moses, or Moshe. But I'm not the one that took the people of uh, Egypt. Joshua took the So what, you're a Jew? Is that what you're saying? You're Jewish? He just has the name of the Jew. I have a name. Yeah. So what's your nationality? Mexican. Mexican? Mexican? Yeah. But I, you guys are actual Jews? Uh, actually, Oh, it's considered Jews, but Israelites. But, but we're, we're Jesus' name, but we come from Abraham. We're the, the seed, seed of Abraham. We're the seed of Jacob. 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 That's the most important part. Abraham had other kids, but they weren't of the promised line. Right? Jesus is about to come. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's yeah. what we're preaching about. But we're also telling you that so-called Mexicans, you're Israelites. You're actually the chosen people of God. The Lord doesn't accept everybody. That's right. The we're Lord doesn't one, accept the priesthood. Right, right, right. Joseph, the people of God. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, my brothers. Man. Shalom. Shalom. He says shalom. 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 Dios los bendiga. We have the Mexicans of the tribe of Issachar. Okay. Just read about it in Genesis uh, 49. Issachar. Oh, Issachar. Yeah. All right. We're the Israelites. All right. Hey, Troy. Yeah, yeah, no, you. That's why I had to. That's why I had to double check. You know, 
Because <laughs> he did have that nose. They both did have that nose. <laughs> but Jake is Middle Eastern. You know? And when you go into the history of Amalek, Amalek uh, mix, mix himself with That's why they look like that over there. You know, a lot of them, they look all, they have dark skin and fucking dark hair and shit. You know, because they done mix themselves. Um, you know, trying to, trying to, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, trying to fucking uh, insert themselves into all these other nations and shit, you know? When you go into the history of Esau, bro, it goes deep, man. They were actually, um, you know, marrying into uh, different nations and mixing themselves with different nations so that they could fucking overthrow them, bro. And, and Esau first did that, disobeyed his parents by going into uh, Canaan. Oh, yeah. And when he did that, he was trying to get his uh, collection back. You know, he was trying to, you know, go back in. But his parents told him not to. He's always a devil, man. He's a devil. Yeah, yeah, you read the story about uh, the history about, you know, the, the, the Muslims and the Christians when they were at war and they were both trying to get Esau on their side, man. Esau was marrying into the Muslims and the Christians. You know, so that they can insert themselves into the into those into, the, into those uh, bloodlines, man. Oh, this shit goes deep. Just look at Herod, bro. Just look at Herod, but look at what happened with the uh, who, who was it? Uh, uh, the Maccabeans, the Maccabees. Uh, you know. Um, right, right, right. Um, you had uh, Esau. That was marrying into uh, marrying into them and became the Herodian dynasty. That's who the hero. and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right, because when you uh, when you are enlightened by the truth, okay, uh, a big part of your faith is keeping the commandments so that you can come to life, you can grow. All right, because the Lord said what? He came. I, he said, I came to bring life and, and, that, they, and that they would have it more abundantly. You know, so through you um, cleaning up your act, you know, and, and uh, uh, seeking your Allah and your shine the right way, you know, uh, uh, you get added, uh, you get benefits added unto you through that. Man. You know, uh, you get confidence, you get more knowledge, which you get more understanding. All right, uh, uh, more faith. You know, uh, all these things get added unto you. Through uh, you doing things that are pleasing to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. That's the truth, boy. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Right, so you may be illuminated. All right, we don't have anything to fear, man, because we know uh, we're, we're, we fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, so we know it's going to go well with us, man. All right? It's these people, they, they're, they're, they're gonna die, man. These people are gonna die, bro. They're, the way to the sin is death. It says, those that leave it shall die. So if you leave this truth, that's a death sentence, man. You die, that's why you gotta keep fighting and push forward. 
you know, offend less, get better. Build, build, that's how you build. That's how you build up. That's how you build your faith. That's how you build your confidence, man. And the Lord will actually work with you. He'll actually show you things. He'll suffer you, man. As it tells you in the scriptures. What? Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Right, yeah, you know, don't give your attention to something else. Christianity, fucking white Jesus, all this other bullshit. All right, you got Jake, you got Jake over here, you know, they will uh, uh, do crazy ass shit, like, like crawl on their knees until their fucking legs are all, all skinned up, you know? I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, they'll be doing all kinds of goofy ass bullshit. Giving their strength, their honor, their power, their dignity to to uh, 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 this devil, man. You know, and what do you get out of it? Nothing. You don't get shit from it, bro. In fact, you know, when the uh, when judgment time comes, you're gonna get uh, you get smacked, boy. Oh Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are made known unto us. Yeah, man, we try. You try and tell the Jake not to eat pork. All right, you're gonna get a, you have a fight on your hands, man. But the things, that, but that's pleasing to the Lord. It's made known unto us. We know you over here trying to help a brother out. <laughs> you know he's gonna pull, he's gonna draw a sword on you, man. That's why it says, "Cast not your pearls before swine, lest lest uh, uh, they trample over it and then turn again and rend you." Oh, that's wicked. That's the evil. That was that that law. That law was done away with. You you over here pushing the, pushing the Old Testament. You know, uh, hey, the Old Testament, the New Testament, go together. That's for sure. Yep. This is... Isaiah 59 and 15. It says, Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, yeah, because what what will what Jake do, man? You tell Jake you shouldn't do this, and it's like, oh, you think you're better than me? You wear, you wear mixed fabrics? You wear mixed fabrics? You know? You're not doing this, you're not keeping this far. I don't see you doing this or that. You know? Hey, they'll, 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 uh, they'll draw the sword on you, man. Um, that's, that's simply just because they can't grasp, um, they can't understand what the grace of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai is, man. It's not for you. It literally tells you in the New Testament, the Lord says, it's not for you to have a, to use for a cloak of maliciousness. It's not for you to be like, ah, my sins are covered. I can do whatever I want. You know, you're still supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Mixed fabric yeah. is something that you can't really do. Shit, even eating clean is something that you can't do, right? Because you're not you're not supposed to. Uh, uh, um, eat food that's been, been that's been cooked in the same place as pork has. But you ain't gonna go to a restaurant or, or you know anywhere uh, to eat where it's clean like that, to where no pork is ever tested, no shrimp is ever tested. You know, or uh, uh, you know you go to a family get together, whatever a feast. You know they cook. Bullshit in that same pan that they're using to cook your food in, you know? So there's no way to even uh, eat clean. Plus, everything GMO, he saw fucking uh, uh, Frankenstein's all the food. You know? But you still, for conscience sake, do it to the best of your ability. Stay away from uh, pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, all that stuff. You don't just say, oh, uh, fuck it, it's too hard. You know? It's about your conscience. That's what it's about. That's why the most important, that's why you're talking about serving the Lord in sincerity and truth. That's what that means. If, you know, to be sincere means that uh, you're, you're conducting yourself in a way that keeps your conscience clean. You know? So then, if uh, somebody, somebody serves you some food or something that happens to have some type of fucking bullshit in it and you don't know about it, your conscience is clean, you know, unless you know about it. What? Yeah, let me know about it. Yeah. It says, um, yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him, 
that there was no judgment. So yeah, he that depart from evil made himself a prey. Cause like even yesterday, right? We uh, had the Day of Atonement. And as we had the Day of Atonement, you know, um, we were suffering, uh, uh, um, we were prey to uh, spirits. You know, you had a lot of people offering you, uh, you know, food. You know, there was a lot of spiritual uh, and demonic attacks, uh, demonic attacks. Right, right. I have dreams, you know, of eating something. You know, so we become a prey, physically and, and spiritually as well. That's real, hey, because hey, I, I would have, I have dreams like every uh, day of atonement about eating something and drinking something, you know. And then that's true because uh, yesterday, you know, uh, like 6 p.m., something like that, all right, then even before that, my kid, my my woman got my kids stuff to eat, and my daughter was like telling me to try her try her food, and even started crying because I didn't want her to. I didn't want I didn't want to eat. You no, know? so she started crying and begging me to, to eat it, and I'm like, no, no, no. And then even later on, my mom came uh, came and asked me to try this try try this uh, drink she made called like a whiskey sour or something. Like that. I was like, no, I can't do it right now. So it's like, that's true, man. He's like, these spirits, they try to, they try to gaffle you, man. <laughs> like, like shit that never happens on, on any other day. And the Day of Atonement comes, all of a sudden, everybody's fucking trying to offer you shit. You know? yeah. It's crazy how that, how it works. You know? But that just shows you that the, these spirits are, are active. They're real, and they're, 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 they're really out to get you. Man. Well, today was just a super, really super active day. Getting to camp, you know, we got here and uh, people walking around all over with big old banners with the name Yeshua, you know? So yeah, it's, and I was telling the brother before we got out here, like, that just is in the middle of the That was the first thing we seen. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 well, it tells you in the scriptures that, uh, you know, people are going to be married, giving in marriage, eating and drinking until, you know, until the Lord comes and swoops, swoops, swoops them all away. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people more active. You keep go walking around in the Pokemon shit, you know, looking for Pokemon. Yeah, it's super active today. It's, it's definitely right after the day of the Pokemon. Right? Yeah. The spiritual, bro. So I was telling Jake, I was like, man, it's going to be all the crazy out there. It's the day after a day of atonement. I'm sick. But it's all, it's all, it's all good because it's just another day. Uh, you know, preaching the word. Uh, go ahead. Uh, back in Baruch 4 and 4. O oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high of wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so it was all a lesson. It was all a lesson, bro. That's what it was. Like being disciplined, you know, you be, being taught a lesson. That's why we're in the predicament we're in. All right, we're we're in this hell because uh, uh, we fell. All right, we messed up, and the Lord punished us. Now, now you saw the rule. Everything's all jacked up and out of order, you know. Um, and that's the reason why is because we were out of order. So the Lord was like, all right, you want to be out of order? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. When, when shit's out of fucking order, you know what I mean. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a real asshole in charge, man. And, and that's what happened. Now the the way to get out of it is to come back to the Lord and repent. You know, show the Lord that you uh, uh, that you want to serve Him, that you want to come back, that you like. Nah, I don't. I, I'm I'm cool. I, I'm good. I don't want to deal with. I don't want to deal with your wrath. You know. That's why the book is there, so you can read it and see. Hey, the Lord did this. Everything's messed up. The Lord did this. He went into slavery. You know, Esau chased you down with the sword and slaughtered you. All this shit happened to you because you, were, you, you didn't want to listen to me. 
is basically what the book tells you. So now you come back to the Lord, you clean up, and you're like, listen, I, I want to get out of here. I want to go back home, man. I want to be with you. Fuck this place. Fuck Esau, man. But the Lord's going to test us to see if we're really about it, man. You know, that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. We're putting in work, right? So that so we can show the Lord that we're about it, bro. That we're, we're trying to get out of here, man. Yeah, when you read the uh, the prayer of King Manasseh, he was the king of Judah, and he was he was going way off. He was sacrificing children. He, he was serving idols. But uh, in the end, he he repented. He repented of the Lord. He said, "My sins are above the sands of the sea." He was doing so much weakness, but but hey, he 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 repented of it. You know, the Lord have mercy on you. Also, hey, 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 these stories, hey, they're always to, to uh, you know, to, to give you faith, you know, give you hope. But, hey, hey, never give up, man. No matter what it is, hey, hey you, you, you fight, you continue to serve the Lord and, and, and hope for mercy. And what does it say? He that endureth to the end, the same should be saved, man. So you just keep putting your ass on the line, bro. That's what you do, you know? They say greater greater love have no man than to give his life for his friends. See, that's what we're doing. We're giving up our lives, you know, for you. How about some y'all shot for the brothers? Like, you know, even if an evil thought came into my mind and was like telling me this ain't this ain't for you, you might as well just leave. You know, in my mind, well, I can't leave my brothers out here like that. That's that's all. That's fucked up. You know, here it is. I got my brothers out here fighting. You know, they're gonna keep going. Why the fuck am I gonna leave and leave them? That's evil as fuck. That's like that's like if you know you have you you you're at war. Your friends are on the battlefield fighting, and you're just like, man, I can't do this no more. You know what I mean? And then you just leave your friends. You leave your boys out there, man. That's that's fucked up, man. And there's a lot of there's a lot of jakes that have done that. I don't want to do that, man. I pray to you help us now. Sorry that I never do that, man. That's something that always comes into mind. If I have to keep going, like if, if I have nothing left, bro, if I have nothing left in me, I have to do it for the brothers at the end of the day, you know? It's like Paul said, he endures all things for the elect's sake. That's not a bad mindset to have. Even the Lord said that, man. Putting your life on the line for your brothers, there's no great there's no greater love than that. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, accepted, acceptable unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which is your reasonable service. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's your reasonable service. Here it is, the Lord's like, look, I'm going to save you, bro. You're going to get eternal life. I'm going to give you a king. I'm going to give you all this stuff, man. All you gotta do is be willing to give up your life to, to receive your life. Like Job, man. Look at Job. He kept his integrity to the end and he got everything back, man. He got everything back and then some. And it's gonna be even greater for us than it was for Job. You know, because at the end of the day, what, is, what happened to Job? Job died. He, got old, he died of old age. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna actually be, if we do die here, we'll be resurrected and be eternal after that. So, I mean, it's all good, man, you know? And, and we don't we don't wanna know it after death by pain because it, it, the Lord ain't gonna make, let it, let it, let you go easily, man. If you decide to turn your back on the Lord and you don't, you don't wanna serve you, how about me outside? He's not gonna let you go easily, man. He's gonna do you in, he's gonna do something terrible to you, man. You don't have to know what's happening after death by pain. Fucking pain, bro. At least if we die, we might just have to get decapitated or something, bro. Well, the Lord ain't just gonna let us die from horrific death. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 50, verse uh, 50 and verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We shall not all die. That's what it means by sleep. We shall not all be put to death or, or die for, for whatever reason. You know, because there are going to be brothers that are going to die. There are going to be brothers that are going to catch a deadly disease, might get shot, might get 
you know, whatever. Esau might grab him, chop, chop the head off, our head off, whatever. You know, there are going to be brothers that die, man. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be all good, bro. Because the Lord is going to resurrect us. And then, and then we're going to bring the fucking pain, man. Then we're going to bring the fucking pain. All hell, man. We're going we're gonna, to uh, uh, unleash holy hell. Holy hell. This is uh, verse... Uh, verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Yep, we're gonna be perfect. We're gonna be raised incorruptible. Good. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right, man. So when that happens, Jake ain't gonna be able to do no wrong, bro. We're gonna be perfect in the eyes of the Lord, man. So we're gonna be unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable, man. There ain't nothing anybody gonna be able to do. You know? I was also singing that song, uh, when, when angels fall oh, by yeah. breaking Benjamin, he says, and we will live forever, which is pretty cool. Because the scriptures like you know, everything and everything you go through is scriptural and spiritual. It's part of the story. And it's just amazing. You know, you, you hear or see something before it happens. You know, it's prophecy. It's a book of prophecy. Yeah, and that, that song is spiritual too. The lyrics, are, the lyrics of that song, um, they say, um, when angels fall with broken wings, it says, I can't give up, I can't give in. It says, when all is lost and daylight ends, I'll carry you and we will live forever. Yeah, that's, yeah man. That's like Yahweh Shai is going to carry us. And, and you know, when, 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 all, when all hope seems to be lost, man, the Lord's going to step in, bro. You know, when things look bleak, when things look dire, that's why we got to keep our faith. And uh, trust me, how about Shimmy I was shot, man? And, and just as it says, you know, uh, uh, you know, be faithful unto death, and the Lord will give you a crown of life. Because the Lord, He don't lie, man. The Lord cannot lie. He's not gonna break His promise. You know, everything we see, everything that happened, that's happened in Babylon. This is we know this is Babylon, bro. All right, we know this. Is, we see all these prophecies. We see everything in the scriptures is true, man. You know, so the Lord's not gonna leave us. That's why we're out here, man. The Lord's not gonna just leave us uh, uh, asked out, bro. It says in the scriptures, He, he, he ain't gonna forget that, uh, all the work that you've done. This Philippians 1 and 20, I'm gonna read it in NLT. At the top it says, Paul's life for Yahweh Shah Mashiach. For I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed. But that I will continue to be bold for Yahweh Shia Mashiach, as I have been in the past, and I trust that my life will bring honor to the Mashiach, whether I live or die. For to me, living means living for Yahweh Shia Mashiach, and dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for the Mashiach, so I really don't know which is better. I am torn between two desires. I long to go and be with Yahweh Shia Mashiach, which would be far better for me. But for your sake, it is better that I continue to live. Knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive so I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of the way. And when I am come to you again, you will have even more reason to take pride in Yahweh Shia Mashiach because of what he is doing for me. That's heavy, bro. He was saying, he's saying, I'm convinced that the Lord is going to keep me alive so that I can keep doing this work. But he's saying, he's saying, uh, 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 it's better, but it's better to die because if, if you die, that means you made the ultimate sacrifice in the truth. You died in the truth, man. You know, you died doing this work. You died believing in the Lord. And now you're just going to, now you're done. The work is over. You Now you're just waiting to come back. 
You know, he's just waiting up there with the Lord, basically. Yeah. But he's like, he's like, but I have, uh, if I'm down here, I can, I, I can continue to do the work. I can continue to help brothers out and, 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 and do this, do this thing. You know? Yeah, because really, hey, he wanted to be with the Lord, but he's like, you got to be more profitable if I, if I was down here to keep doing the work. You know, it's business. Yep. Hey, do the Lord's business. Yeah. yeah, and that's true, man, because like, you know, um, even, even with us, even with us, like us being together in this camp right here, if one of us was to go, that would, that's, that, that, that would kick morale, man. You know, that was, that's, that sucks. You know? It's far better for us to be together than to, uh, uh, for one of us to die or something to happen to one of us, you know? You know, because the camp wouldn't be the same. You know, even with, uh, uh, you know, other brothers that we've known and, and, and lost contact with or haven't been in touch with, it's not, you know, it was different when they were around. You know, it's better. More brothers equals more better, man. Well, yeah, it said when two or three gathered together in my name, you know, you always shines in the mist. You know, so imagine more brothers. More brothers that are in the spirit. The spirit is more strong there, you know. You know this is a three-fold cord. You cannot be broken easily, paraphrasing. Well, let me get this. I was holding this move for the word. This is Revelation 14. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand having his father's name raised in their foreheads and they had the truth they had the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah it's, a, it's about the doctrine. It's about the truth. Okay, because you, you're required to preach the truth. You know, we always bring it out in uh, about the watchman in Ezekiel. You know? That if you don't blow the trumpet knowing the truth, you see the enemy coming. That was your ass. You fell asleep on your post. That was your ass. You know? Oh! God forbid, Lord forbid, you were one of the king's watchmen. You just got smacked right there. You know? These direct men. It says, um, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as they were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders and no man could learn that song but the one hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth The sinners of my people shall be slain with the sword. Man. Get a proper one get, uh, and get a, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Amos 9. I believe we're talking about the, the people that was, uh, the, you know, get the sin, all the sinners of my people shall be slain with the sword. We're out here harping on you. We're telling you, like, turn back to the Lord, man, before it's too late. You know, everything's, the, 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 the gates of mercy are still open. Still have it, you still have the chance to repent, man, for saying that, so that you could get in, you can be in safety, you know, before this devil comes down having great bread, you know, because the Lord, the Lord is going to power you up, man. The Lord is going to give you faith. The Lord is going to give you understanding, so that you, hey, uh, Isaiah uh, 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge of the stability of your time, and through that wisdom and knowledge, you're going to have faith, you're going to have confidence, you're going to be all right, so that whatever situation you end up, you're going to be like, man, it's going to be all right, man. The Lord is with me. You know, fuck these assholes. Say something. Okay, go ahead. Is a proverb one and 
20, wisdom cries without, she uttered her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates. In the city she uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their sporting and fools hate knowledge. Right, so that's the spirit harping on, that's harping on these people. How long, how long are you gonna be simple, man? You know, how long are you going to uh, be denying the Lord? How long are you going to be out here just, uh, uh, you know, being silly? Here it is. You got all these evils going on in the world. You got all this madness going on in the world. You know, and, and you, you're still just uh, uh, being ignorant, bro. You're still <laughs> ignorant, bro. Straight up. Ignorant. Ignorant. Hey, all remember uh, that video of Chris Rock? That's right. How to not get your ass kicked. You know? This is what you don't do. It's a, it, 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 it was true, man. And it was it, it was coming from Chris Rock, bro. I get it. Yeah. And he's notorious for talking shit about a uh, uh, so-called white man, you know? He's even telling you to comply. He's like, look, man, you don't want to get your ass kicked. Right. <laughs> and then it shows, it shows Jake getting pulled over. He gets out of the car and just starts cussing out the cop. And then it shows the cop bathing his ass and beating him with the nightstick, you know? And it's like... <laughs> you know, it's the it, it, it's the same deal. You know, when it comes to the truth, man. When it comes to the truth, you gotta keep being disobedient to your house by some your side, and keep getting your ass kicked. You know, keep living this life of, of, of misery. Or are you gonna wake up to the truth and be fulfilled, man? Go ahead. I also will laugh at your 